Have you ever wondered what makes the famous Wimbledon grass courts unique? It's the clay soil beneath that gives them their perfect bounce. The Wimbledon charm was once encapsulated by fast play and low bouncing balls, leading to an abundance of serve and volley points. However, the game's monotonous pace led to a pivotal change in 2001. In a strategic move, Wimbledon replaced their 70% rye grass and 30% creeping red fescue mix with a lawn composed of 100% rye grass. Eddie Seward, the then head groundskeeper, was an advocate for this transformation, which he believed was for the good of the sport. This change in grass composition resulted in more durable courts, cleaner bounces due to the drier and firmer soil beneath. Believe it or not, the post-chain serve and volley strategy started to lose its charm. Craig O'Shaughnessy, director of Brain Games Tennis, revealed a stunning statistic. The strategy, which featured in 33% of men's points in 2002, had plunged to merely 5-10% to since 2008. Grass courts, especially in Wimbledon's first week, pose unique physical challenges. The lower bounces and slower ball movement thanks to the grass's moisture, can lead to increased physical strain and susceptibility to slipping. However, as the tournament progresses into the second week, the grass dries, the soil hardens, and bounces get higher, making topspin more effective. This dynamic change in court conditions benefits experienced players familiar with this transition. The areas surrounding the baseline don't just affect the bounce, they can become quite slippery prompting player complaints. Backing up for better footwork might hand opponents an attacking opportunity. Thus, players must remain aggressive, take the ball early, and manage their movements effectively to prevail. That's it, folks. Give me a like and subscribe if you like this quick explainer. See you next time.